truly amphibious sport. The competitor plummets from air to water and climbs back out again thousands of times in the course of a season. It has a dreamlike quality, but it isn't a sport for dreamers. There's danger in it and endless training. You have to want it very bad. You have to be willing to give up a lot. Like, I missed a lot of my high school social life because um, I was diving instead of going to football games and parties and stuff like that. So you, you have to want it bad enough. You have to want it all right, enough to move away from home and family in the east to train under coach Ron O'Brien in the far west in Mission Viejo, California, to live in a series of strangers' homes, right now a pleasant one with Pam Sheik, a divorced lady with two children. Here's Pam. We have a beautiful relationship. She gets along great with my kids. And uh, it's, it's just, it's very special. And we get, we get along very well. What time are you going to be I've lived in four different homes before I came to Pam's house. And it's pretty hard because a few of the homes I was living in, I felt like I didn't feel part of the family at all. They didn't really, you know, make me feel welcome like Pam has. Uh, which is really nice because I feel like not only am I a live-in person, but I'm also part of her family. She makes me feel very welcome. I don't think many people that take uh, kids into their family really want to get involved, and I really feel that they do want to. In the morning, I usually do a little needlepoint before uh, workout, just to kind of relax beforehand, and that's my little time. I talk to Pam a lot, like if I'm having problems with something, she'll sit down with me and, and talk it through. You know, and she has her opinion, I have mine. It really helps having a person care about you. Wendy Wyland was world champion in the 10-meter platform at age 17. Now 19, she's enjoying some of the glamour that comes with being a top athlete. But she knows that without continuing achievement, the side benefits stop. So she keeps her objectives in order. I'm definitely going to compete through 88 and possibly through 90. I need to be the best at something. I mean, that's just the way I am. I just have that, that drive inside of me that says you have to be, you know, one of the best. A lovely girl indeed, Wendy Weiler now in fifth.